I'll be demonstrating the new version of Solid Inspector. It's um, uh, compatible with SketchUp 2014 and upwards. If you have any older SketchUp versions, you have to keep using the old one. The, um, the new Solid Inspector features a new UI to present all the errors that is found. Um, it also has a toolbar. Um, so when you want to inspect a solid to why um, it is not um, you can see in this inspector window all the different errors that's there. So for this model we can see it has a bunch of reversed faces where the um, the back side of the face is facing outwards. This is something that often uh, cause problems in other applications. Uh, SketchUp is a lot more forgiving but uh, often when exporting you'll find that it's treated as a whole instead. So you want to make sure that these are facing the correct way. Um, furthermore it has a lot of internal faces here. Uh, if I go to x-ray mode you can see that it highlights all these red areas and that's faces that's on the inside of the volume um, of the uh, solid object. Um, all these needs to be removed. Um, I can choose to fix each of these types of error individually like I can do just internal ones and we are left only with the um, Turn the first. Now I left it on the reverse faces, and I can click these um, separately. And now entity info will say it's a solid group, and so will solid inspector. So that's ready to be sent for SDL export and 3D printing or whatnot. Let me just open another set of test models. So for this model here it's going to have a lot of internal faces and the extra dark areas here that's the back face. So I'm going to start Solid Inspector. Uh, it takes longer to analyze uh, than all the version. So just be aware that large models might take a while to complete. Um, as you can see, it has quite a few, uh, quite a lot, internal faces. Um, as opposed to last time, I can just choose to click Fix All. And it's now a solid. Um, while you have a window open, you can just click on different groups in the model and it will reanalyze uh, the object to click on. Uh, for the one I have selected right here I have a section cut applied so you can see the internal faces. From the outside without a section cut you, it's hard to tell if there's internal ones but you can see all the different partitions in the inside um, so that's why I use x-ray mode a lot for this as you can see um, all the uh, internal faces I click fix and it's all gone uh, this one only has a reversed face this might work fine if you export it depending on the application but as I mentioned er um, early on Reverse faces can often lead to um, the face being treated as a whole. So you want to make sure that's fixed as well. Um, there are some things that Solid Inspector cannot fix, and that's holes in the geometry. Let me just spin this one around. And there's a set of problems here. So 
you can click on each of the um, question mark and it'll give you information about what the problem is and what is normally done to fix it. Uh, stray edges are these here. I can click on that particular error and you'll um, highlight just that set of errors. Um, so we've got this edge and these couple of edges. That can be fixed. Um, face holes, that's let me turn x ray off. That's holes that's formed on the inside of a face. Um, and this is also fixable. This is fixed by simply deleting it. Um, now the remaining ones are errors that cannot be automatically fixed because it's very hard to determine the um, intended um, result for this. So I have some internal face edges. Now this is a result of internal faces and they, these are normally fixed automatically but they cannot be fixed until you have closed all the holes. So if we click this one you'll get a message box saying um, that the holes in the mesh need to be fixed first. And the holes in the mesh can also not be fixed individually. You have to fix that manually. So okay, let's just open up this group. First problem is this face. Uh doesn't really do anything for the whole solid, so we just delete that one. Um, now for these, let me turn heat and geometry on. Uh, these need to be repaired manually. Now this one is quite simple. I just draw a line there, and I draw a line there, and a line here, and it's all filled. It's gonna smooth it. And I'm going to rerun Solid Inspector, and we can see that the um, internal face we previously couldn't fix is now fixable. And I also generated a bunch of internal faces while fixing the um, sphere. So uh, let's just go and fix all the internal faces like that, and then. The last one, the reverse face, and everything is shiny. Um, if you um, let's open this one. Actually, that's not a good example. Let me just revert to the original example and inspect this one. There's a bunch of different errors here and sometimes it's not easy, sometimes the holes can be quite small so um, I want to focus on this face hole so I'm going to select just this group so that's filtered out and I'm just going to hit tab and we zoom straight into it uh, this is quite helpful for uh, geometry which has very very small gaps that needs to be fixed. Um, if I click outside I remove the filter and I can tab through all the different errors if that sometimes that helps to actually identify all the problems.